पता चला जाए रे तेरी धुन जो लगी सफल करे सासे This is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So, why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view? Now, my next reaction of today, we are jumping over to the T series and we are checking out Jubin. Now, it's not only Jubin, it's Payao as well, Payao Dev. And these two guys, um, these two, uh, I am looking at amazing stuff. I'm looking at beautifulness. I'm looking at women <laughs> because they're fantastic. Uh, so, this is uh, Dotara, um, Svijo, and I said Jubin, uh, Moni. <clears throat> Moni, Dash, uh, and obviously it's a Bush and Kamar uh, entertainment or whatever you want to call it. I am ready to literally press the play button straight away because something about the T series that keeps me keeping coming there, even though I get fantastically low views on my T series reactions, uh, but it's not. I've, sometimes it's it's really not about the view. It's about actually watching and appreciating what is actually there. T series they get abundance amount. I mean, like this has been out for about three days and already covered come coming close to seven million views. Um, if I get over a hundred views, I'd be happy on this one. I really would be um, on the, on any of my T series uh, reactions. To be fair, but look, I'm persevering. I like the channel. I like Jubilin and a number of artists that's coming from the T series and other. Um, platform that is on YouTube, whether it be Coke Studio, Nef Cafe, Nef's Cafe Basement. I love it. It's as simple as that. So I'm not going away from it. Um, even, I, look, even though I, I get blocked a number of times and everything else, I'm still here. I'm that stubborn. When I like something, I'm going to carry on doing it. It's as simple as that. <laughs> so here you go. So look, let's press the play button, shall we? So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video, audio music. Can you dig it? <laughs> Is it Dotara or Dota? See, it's Mr. Evil. Ugh. Beautiful. Everybody wants. I told you this got to be a beautiful girl. Okay. Jubin as well. Hello. I don't get this playback thing when Jubin's there. Why do you put the actual singer there? I mean, she's there, but come on. You know what I mean? Banona. 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 Have a car, go get a little, a little, 
T-series um, Doctara or Doctara or is it Doctara or Doctara? Let me know. Jubin, Moni, Payal, uh, Dash and a Bushman Qatar. This is all the people that was involved in this and it made it superb. Come on, anytime when you see Busham in there, uh, Busham, a name of Busham in there, you know that it's going to be... Mm. And if, if payal has got anything to do with the music, then you know what's going on. Jubin, he has come from leaps and bounds from when he was first on the um it's kind of like a voice and i think he only came in third and then he just you know I, it almost seems that any kind of music competition where somebody comes third they're the ones to look out for opposed to the one that comes first who did come who came first in the, in the same competition when jubin came third is that artist still apparent is that artist bigger than jubin let me answer me that question. I very much doubt it. Or else I would be reacting to the person that came first. He's a good looking fella. And he... He's, when I said that he's coming on leaks and bounds, his vocals is getting better and better and better and better and better. And I like that. I feel that he should give me some more of his rock element. You know, when he's doing his live performances. I, I, I just love it. When he's got the, the electric guitar and he's just rocking out. I love that. It's the same thing with Arajit Singh. When they just, when they in their comfort zone, when they're producing the music that they want to produce, rather than being, um, you know, being something like this in a T series, you see their actual character, their amazing character come out, come out to life. And it's just lovely to watch. It really is. You know, it's at their own leisure. This particular music video had everything in there. Uh, and I think it was taking, um, not making fun or making mockery, but I think it was taking snippets out of how the vi music videos or films of yesteryear used to be. And they're trying to incorporate that because it gave you certain elements of this film back in the, you know, the, eight, you know, the 18th, 17th or 15th century or kind of thing. Then he pulls out his mobile phone. I'm like, what's going on there, bro? But there was other certain things that, you know, the way how the, 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 um, she was putting a perfume on her. I was like, what? That is like old times of how, put, how perfume was put on onto you. And then how it panned back into the modern world after in the end and in the, at the beginning as well. It was very entertaining. It's so emotional, the guy with the cricket bat. <laughs> just like, what? Loved it, absolutely loved it. Very thoroughly entertaining. You can tell why it's got come close to, uh, is it six, seven million or eight million? Um, seven million views. It deserves it. I'm gonna leave all the details where you can indeed watch this for yourself. And if you want to send any message or go onto Spotify or anything like that, I'll leave all the details so, for you to check out. But for now, I said Lodro. Boom! <laughs> 